I want to tell you something. If you've ever prayed for God to take you out of a certain situation, don't go back to it. If you've prayed for God to remove you from a toxic situation or an unstable environment, don't go back to it. If there is anything you've asked God to save you from, and he does, don't go back to that very thing that once held you in bondage. Don't go back to anything you had to pray your way out of. And for those who've prayed for deliverance or freedom, once you have been delivered, once you've been set free, draw a line there and refuse to go backwards. Refuse to look back. Let's say you were in a sinful relationship. You then prayed and prayed for the strength to make it out of that relationship. It was hard because you truly loved the person, but you knew it was not a relationship the Lord would want you to be in. Eventually, by the power of the Spirit, you have enough strength to leave the relationship. You are free from that relationship for a few months, and life is going great. However, you start to feel the desire to re-enter a relationship with that person. God is calling you to flee. Why return to the same thing you prayed for God to deliver you from? While that desire may feel good for a little while, in the end, it will lead to destruction. You are flirting with bondage. By giving in to that evil desire, it makes it easier for you to give in to more evil desires in the future. Eventually, in the end, you may completely decide to walk away from the Lord. And according to Peter, it would have been better for you never to have known the Lord than to know him and then choose to turn away from God after following him. When you reject God after trying a relationship with him, in a sense, you are saying you have tasted and seen he is not good. Philippians 1 verse 6 says, Being confident of this very thing, that he who has begun a good work in you will complete it, until the day of Jesus Christ. The Amplified Version says, I am convinced and confident of this very thing, that he who has begun a good work in you will continue to perfect and complete it until the day of Christ Jesus, the time of his return.